A potential major development in Ukraine. The United Kingdom has confirmed that it is supplying Ukraine with multiple storm shadow cruise missiles. This equipment gives Ukrainian forces a new longer range strike capability in advance of an expected counteroffensive against Russian forces. The news comes as Ukraine's military says that its troops have conducted what they call effective counterattacks in the Bakhmut area, that city in the east that has seen fierce fighting for 11 months now. According to Kyiv, Russian troops have already been pushed back as much as two kilometers in some areas. CNN's Nick Peyton Walsh is in the Zaporizhia region. Nick, Ukraine has been asking for missiles with a longer range for some time. It seems that they are finally getting it. What kind of a difference could this make? Yeah, it does appear they already have them. They've been asking the U.S. to supply the Attackums with its 185-mile range, but these U.K. storm shadows uh, have 155-mile range, which essentially brings much of the Crimean Peninsula occupied by Russia, possibly even some part of Russia's border areas, although it's clear as part of this donation they will not be striking inside Russian territory proper uh, before the 2014 re-establishing of borders by Russia's occupation. It does potentially allow Ukraine to be more targeting of of key Russian military infrastructure in those occupied areas. And I wonder if this announcement is perhaps coming out to be clear that it's a UK donation allowing them to have this greater effective range so there's no confusion as to whether the US had, for example, secretly supplied some extra capability. It does potentially change the precision and depth that Ukraine can exercise into occupied areas, but also, too, it's important to point out, we've seen sabotage, we've seen drones attacking some of these areas, it seems, over the past weeks, too. So a clear sign, I think, of the United Kingdom often wanting to be the first to supply tanks or seem the most uh, pioneering in terms of what it's willing to give Ukraine. Does that put greater pressure on the United States to add to the inventory? We'll have to wait and see. But it again puts emphasis on when this counteroffensive may begin or we may see it publicly. We're hearing today too from Russia's mercenary head Yevgeny Prigozhin that his forces are losing ground in parts of Bakhmut, having to withdraw into that city centre, he says, because of Ukrainian counteroffensive. And he goes on after days, frankly, of railing against the mismanagement of the war by the Kremlin's top brass. He goes on to warn this potentially could lead Ukraine to push all the way through and make a decisive strike inside occupied areas. On top of that, too, ahead of this counteroffensive, President, former President Donald Trump's comments yesterday refusing to say he wants Ukraine to win the war. That's going to focus a lot of minds here as to how vital this summer is and how Western support isn't a guarantee forever. Back to you. No question about that. Nick Payton, while something is happening in Bakhmu, we are getting more and more reports from that region. The next few days could be crucial. Thank you so much for your reporting. We're getting details of explosive allegations this hour from the U.S. ambassador to South Africa, who accuses the government there of supplying arms to Russia. Ambassador Ruben Brigadi told local news media that arms and ammunition were loaded onto a sanctioned Russian cargo vessel late last year. CNN's Dave McKenzie joins us live now from Johannesburg. So, you know, we've seen South Africa participating, David, in joint military exercises with Russia. Obviously, they have refused to condemn the war, uh, at least against the Russians. And they've also wavered about how to potentially handle Putin maybe visiting South Africa during the BRICS summit later on this year. That has caused the Americans so much unease. This idea that South Africa could indeed be sending ammunition to Russia clearly is a huge problem for the West. Well, it's a huge problem for the West, but it's also a huge problem for South Africa, Zane, if it uh, turns out to be true. This is a sanctioned vessel uh, by the U.S. last May. The um, vessel is a Russian cargo ship known to be, according to the U.S. Treasury, uh, transporting uh, weapons and ammunition for the Russian Federation over some time. It was sanctioned uh, last year. And then you had this mysterious situation when the Lady R, as it's known, uh, docked in the main naval port of South Africa in a military uh, naval port uh, near Cape Town uh, for several days. And there were questions at that time, what exactly was it doing there? Allegations from the opposition that there were late night uh, uh, cargo being taken on and off. And now this very direct statement from the U.S. ambassador to local media uh, both on camera and uh, uh, in audio, saying that uh, they believe that this uh, vessel left South African shores with Russian arms and ammunition. When the ambassador was asked how confident he is 
on that intelligence. He said, quote, we are confident that the weapons were loaded onto the vessel, and I would bet my life on it. These are very direct comments from the most senior diplomat uh, of the US here in South Africa, and continues uh, these allegations against South Africa that it's not neutral, but rather siding with Russia. Zane? And David, it is very unusual, uh, as you just touched on there, for an ambassador to make an accusation like it, like this, isn't it? Yes, it is. And I, do, I think this would be a very calculated move. It's also uh, telling that the international media, like CNN and others, were not invited to the briefing. This is a message meant for South Africa, for the South African press. Of course, uh, due to the potential gravity of these accusations, it would become global news. Uh, but this was a message directed at South Africa at the president by the U.S. ambassador. You have seen a more assertive line coming from U.S. diplomats about South Africa's stance on the Russian invasion of Ukraine in recent months. But this is certainly the most direct accusation that South Africa is potentially arming the state that invaded Ukraine. Uh, we expect a statement shortly from the South African presidency on this matter. I'm sure that will be forceful. Uh, but they have repeatedly said here in the country that they are neutral on this issue, uh, though they did host war games with the Chinese and the Russians earlier this year and could be even hosting Vladimir Putin later, later this year at the BRICS summit. Uh, so I'm sure there will be significant fallout out, out after these comments from the U.S. ambassador. Uh, and if it, uh, more evidence does emerge that weapons will be sent from South Africa to Russia, then it becomes also an issue uh, of sanctions busting, potentially, uh, though South Africa maintains it wants to maintain good relations with all sides. Zane? Yeah, that may be difficult to do. David McKenzie, live for us there. Thank you so much.